what is going on everybody z here welcome back to some more hill architect the prologue we are checking it out we're continuing i'm having a blast seems like people are enjoying it as well so uh yeah we're gonna be hopping on in hopefully you, you do enjoy it. if you do make sure you leave a like on the video if you're new here maybe consider subscribing as well for some more so also use the link down below um to check out the game it's pretty cool pretty neat so uh last episode we ended with them saying that there was going to be a um inspection however as soon as i started this game it said um oh something messed up and there's no inspection the inspection's off so just forget about it i was like okay so not really sure what's going on with that but hey that's all right that's all right now we are currently at nine sinners and i like how there's three digits i can't imagine having that many sinners i you know i don't know <laughs> i don't know i can't imagine it. so uh yeah we'll see uh oh you're stuck down here uh that's not great you should dig that way out right there so you can get home oh darn it you're gonna have to dig this one too because i'm a dummy there you go now you're free now you're free okay so these are all looking good everything's looking good we got some sinners wait we don't have any more sinners coming in uh it says new center it doesn't say new center in this amount of time wait what is that it that's as many centers as we get uh huh Okay, so we might just have to build this statue up. I mean, we got plenty of food, plenty of water. Um, yeah, we'll build this next part of the statue. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and build that. And then I also want to build basic, some floors. Put those in there. Pour up those holes. And our second stage of the statue is being built. Okay, all right priorities lowest priority highest priority use left click to increase priority oh population <gasps> i didn't even look at this the whole time oh light decorations legend legends or legends oh i didn't realize that there was like I didn't realize that the oh you know what i wonder if we need to increase light for sanity <gasps> i bet you we do i bet you we do basic uh decoration it emits a pleasant light which suffering on the anguish face centers even more evident okay we need to build some of these let's build one there 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 we build one in here can't build one in here uh we could if we dig these out oh i didn't even think about that build hold on a little bit more uh build another one like right up in here okay so we'll get those built so light layer see how much see how that's well how, how much does that help they're gonna help a lot oh that helps like a lot a lot so what does that do? Oh, I can finally see what I'm doing. Plus 20% effective for digging, moving, and using buildings, but negative 20% of su suffering from... Wait, what? But minus 20% of suffering from tortures. Oh, so you want tortures to be in the dark. Oh. Base amount. Base amount base amount oh is that is that really what it is plus 20 percent efficiency but negative 20 percent of suffering from torture so we're gonna lose 20 percent of our suffering from the tortures so we don't want our torches over here we want our torches to be in like a super secret horrible terrible area right like down in like you know around like a couple corners and stuff into like a dark pit of de despair oh Oh, that, I mean, that makes sense. Now, what does decorations do? Mm, let's see. So if I go to, let's build. Let's go to decorations. A skull pillar, shelf, torch, uh, a chandelier, a skull pile. Hmm. 
Let's see, let's put that... I don't know, right there. Right, right here. Oh, not enough resources. What did that cost? I don't even know what that cost. Alright, let's see what that does. I'm super curious. You finished stage oh. two. Hmm, interesting. Stage two is done. Perhaps I underestimated you. Maybe you're not a complete waste of skin after all. Oh, thanks. Uh, Monument of Bezelbum. Almost finished. Well, hands and head are still missing. So we need 900 for that. Okay. Um, also, this is gone. So we're going to deconstruct that. And we're going to deconstruct that. Because... Whoa! What is happening? All right. Who screwed up? Yeah, it wasn't us, Your Holy Highness. Sounds like something went kablooey. What happened? Mr. Azazel? Here? Azazel? <laughs> yes, indeed. That was one crazy kaboom, wasn't it? Okay. Hello, my darlings. A massive explosion of concentrated suffering has weakened the seventh circle. If that collapses, we could lose circles five and six. Hell itself might plunge into the abyss. <laughs> oh, Lucifer. We need to do something fast, or some circles will collapse into the abyss. How can we help, oh, wonderful potentate of demondom? By doing the bidding of he who rules us all. Lucifer himself to rebuild the damage to done by that random damage explosion. Done by that random explosion. Collect as much suffering as you can, my darlings, and we will repair what we have lost. Uh, forgive me, a uh, foul master of fire and ash, but what about the monument to Beelzebub? Uh, gain requires suffering, and third stage of construction. Okay. So we'll gain the required suffering for sure. So what does this do? Hold on. Okay. So decorations. What does this do? Dreadful scenery. Plus 30% of suffering from tortures. Sinners. Fatigues is dropping faster by 10%. Okay. All right. So we want skulls. Next to our tortures. All right. That makes sense. So we need to make a torture room. Hmm. A room of darkness, clouded in secrecy and scaredness and funny smells. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's make this happen. Let's make a room for torturing, shall we? Let's do it. We're going to make it. It's going to happen. Um, let's dig out. Let's do this. Let's throw a torch out because torches, right? Torches help build stuff faster. We're going to build it over here. There's no way to build walls or anything, I don't think. Mm, it's kind of unfortunate, actually. All right, so there's that. So dig. Now, what I want to do is I want to dig. Okay, so we already have a path going down. And they only need one block to walk in. So let's do this. This, there, and then light's not going to be able to get past that, right? Actually, hold on. Let's cancel. Let's cancel all of that. Okay. Let's see how that does. I'm curious to see if like, okay, so back into this hole right here, it should be super dark, right? Oh my gosh, the light is flowing into there still? Huh. It's like the light passes through the, through the stone stuff. Well, this light's going to be removed anyways. Okay, hold on. Uh, cancel this because that's not going to make a difference. Mm, let's look at our light situation. Okay, so light. So dig. So maybe this area actually you know what no cancel that too because it's going to be circular it's going to be radiating in a circular fashion it's going to be going down a little bit further than this so what we actually need to do you know what let's just cancel all of that forget that we're going to have them over here <laughs> we're just going to do it over here because why not um 
Yeah. We might as well. Oh, you know what? You're stuck in here, aren't you? Let's go ahead and build a ladder out of here real quick. There you go. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to have to just have it over here. Which is fine. Completely fine. So, let's do this. Uh, dig. Let's finish this area right here. We're going to build basic floor. Oh, I can't build a floor there. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. We're going to clear this area right here. And then we're going to build ladders up here. And then we'll have a whole little torturing area over here. That's what we'll do. And then we'll put skulls and stuff around it and skull pillars. And it's going to be amazing, I think. Should we make a skull pillar too? Wait. Oh, does it actually tell me? Hold on. Uh, decorations. This. Dreadful scenery. Plus 30% of suffering from tortures, but sinners fatigue is driving 10% faster. 10% faster. Okay. Okay. Got it. So we don't want this stuff out here. Not really. I don't know what these are. Legends? These must be like certain uh, certain sinners that are like really good or like really popular sinners. That's all I can think of. How's the uh, food? It's 295. Water's at 179. That's looking good. I'm going to keep an eye on the food though because now that we're out of the smelly goop, we are only utilizing simple meals now. All right, we need to put some floors in over here, too. So, build basic. We're going to put that in right there. Um, We also need to build another ladder. I like to have the ladder going up higher. Uh, Yeah, and I want to throw all the torches in over here. With, uh, with the skulls and stuff, you know? Suffering is looking good. We need to get 300 for Azazel. And then looking good. Look at that. Bill. Uh, here's Master Azazel. Azazel. It's Azazel, but okay. <laughs> Problem is solved, my precious minions. Now it's back to work on that monument to Beelzebub's magnificent wickedness. Got it. Okay, so cool. He actually didn't even take the uh didn't even take the suffering from us, which is kind of nice. I thought we were gonna lose that suffering, but nope, did not. All right, perfect. So there's those. Now we need to build tortures. Let's build a dentist. Okay, so these ones are bigger. All right, so we're going to actually have to dig out that area. But I want to move these all over here too. So, and I gotta, I, man, I wish this floor was going to be flat, but it's not. So tortures. It's like an Iron Maiden. I mean, I see. I'm not gonna be able to put those there because of those holes in the ground. That is super annoying. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this then. Boop. There. We'll just do that. And actually, you know what? We'll dig out this one right there too, and then we'll throw a um, we'll throw a ladder right there. That'll look pretty good. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have the most best hell ever. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Build tortures. Actually, I'm curious. Will that fit in here now? Oh, that freezer. Oh, I bet you the freezer's a small space one. It looked super tiny. See, that'll fit there. Let's put that there. Build tortures. Uh, freezer. We'll put that right next door. And then build torture. I kind of want just like one of each, you know? Uh, a furnace. Build tortures. Our boiling pool. Oh, I can't build that. Oh, it's because I'm out of stuff. Uh, let's go grab, uh, let's go grab some of this stuff over here. Okay, so these are done. Alright, so, uh, nothing, no trait for that one. Cold fire. Dentist. Dentist doesn't have a trait. Base amount is six per day. Wow. There's those. There's those. Okay. So now we also want. We need to get our uh, decorative stuff. We got to get. Uh, we got to get some resources because we're a little low on coal and metal and stuff. So let's see. Build tortures. 
Yeah, a little low on the coal. Decorations. We want some skull piles and stuff too. Like I might, I, I feel like ideally you might be able, best to have like a couple of these like that. You know, because each one of those probably has a radius that affects these, you know. So let's see, decorations. Oh, see, it's not quite hitting that. I should have left a space in there. Oh, darn. You know what? What happens? Let's deconstruct that, that, and why can't I deconstruct this one? That's weird. I can't deconstruct that one. I have to wait till these ones are gone. Deconstruct. It won't let me deconstruct that one. Get out of there. Can you deconstruct it now? I can't. Can't deconstruct that. That's weird. I can't deconstruct that one thing. Super weird. Uh, decorations. Pillar. Put that there. And then we want tortures. One of those. And build tortures, Iron Maiden. Ooh, see, I want another, I want another, uh, I want another skull thing right here. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put the Iron Maiden on this side. And we'll put the Iron Maiden right there. And then we'll put uh, another, another thing of skull stuff right here. And then we'll put the Iron Maiden on this side and a little skull thing somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. And no light over here. Perfect. But we've got decorations. Lots of decorations. Wonderful. Yes. Yes. We are evil. We are evil indeed. You know, it kind of sinks though. We only have nine. Uh, we only have nine sinners. And we're not getting any more. I'm gonna guess it's probably because that is the uh, the max that we can have with the prologue, probably. Kind of unfortunate, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, throw that there. And can we actually build? Let's see. Let's build a floor right there. We'll dig out some of this, and I'm gonna put some uh, skull things over here too. You know what? Actually, we could do. Hold on. If we dig out that, that. And dig out those. And then we put a... We're going to put a ladder in. Right here. But then we can put skull piles right here. And it might actually radiate through the ground into hitting these two. So that might actually even give us more. Uh, especially on these ones. So what do you... Cold. Do we have anybody that is cold? No. I have a lot of people that are blood. Ah. Uh, I'm thinking we need to redo this area right here with Iron Maidens because we have so many people that are blood. And what are you? Fire? So blood and fire. Yeah. We're going to deconstruct some of these. I still don't know why I can't deconstruct. Oh, now I can deconstruct that one. Okay. See, now I can't deconstruct this. Uh... See, that gives us a lot of torture per day, but I'm trying to like, I want to, ma I want to, I want to like maximize how much stuff we can get. Okay. So let's see here. If we go to, uh, to build decorations, skull pile. So if we put these here like this, is that going to radiate out? Oh my gosh, it does. So you know what actually we could do? We could build underneath of it. We could build right here. Uh, How big are the Iron Maidens? They're only two. So if we just dig out right there, we could put the Iron Maidens under here and get the effect of these as well. How much is this? What does this give us? Three per day. 
This gives us two per day. Okay, so this guy's definitely better. Can we deconstruct you? You, you. I can't deconstruct that. Okay. Maybe it's because I have too many things toggled at once. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm trying to I'm trying to like, you know, think about how we can do this. Now we could only really have I feel like we can only really have three people. Because we have nine people total. So we have one, two, three. One, two, three. We have three people working. Which means oh gosh, that actually means that we could have we could have six people being tortured. Is it only is there really only three people working? Yeah, there really is. One, two, three. Okay. So we need to figure out who's who's doing what. So everybody that's assigned to their stations, uh, we need to leave them alone. So population. Okay, so does do we have any cue for who's doing what? Sin traits. Oh wait, we can buy people out of limbo? Oh, let's get you out of limbo there, bud. I didn't realize you can buy people out of limbo. He limbo, heck yeah. Okay. So, uh, Tamar is 150% blood. By assigned small spaces trait. See, we don't have anything that has a small small spaces trait. Unfortunately. Uh, Wrath. It builds slower, but gets upset faster. The center builds half as slow as the others. That's fine. Not worried about that. Plus 30% suffering from tortures, but center's fatigue. Da, 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 da. Those are modifiers. Okay. So. How do I know who's doing what? Work in the structure is queued. Needs to eat. So let's do this. Let's look here. I kind of wish you could see like what people's jobs were like this guy. He's a okay. So Adrian, Abel and Emily, Adrian, Abel and Emily. We're going to leave them alone. Everybody else can be tortured. <laughs> Abel, Adrian, Emily. Okay, perfect. The, the top three people. All right. So, um, So let's start with um, blood. So we need one blood. And blood will get us. See, I don't really know for sure. Um, let's go ahead and let's build tortures. I think this is the only one that's blood. Because the dentist doesn't have a trait that I know of. There's no trait here. But we do get six per day. So we can kind of figure that out later. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and let's start with building an Iron Maiden. We're going to throw that all the way back there. And then let's let that build. We're going to see how much that gives us. Because I don't think. So an Iron Maiden is going to give us two per day. And if we have the modifier. On this gave us what another one or two per day, so it's gonna give us four per cycle. It's a six per cycle. So that Iron Maiden really isn't that great. It's really not. But I think it's the only one that's blood related. That we're gonna get any kind of bonus on. But then again, like we might as well use the dentist. See, this increases the sinner's fatigue and increases sinner's thirst. Uh, increases sinner's fatigue, increases. See, the bladder, that is something that we kind of really want because we need people to use the bathroom so we can get more water. So we're going to go ahead and assign you. What? You're. Tamar. Oh, are you Tamar? Oh, Tamar's okay. We're going to assign you there. Um, and then we're going to also build 
decorations. Pillar. Oh, shoot. It's too tall. Oh, you know what, though? We can do this. We'll dig out that one. And then we'll put a uh, build. Decorations. Pillar. Boop, right there. Perfect. Okay, so now look at this. <laughs> oh, this area is perfect. This is a good area. It's a good area. Okay. So that looks good. Uh, so there's one blood person. Uh, let's get a fire person in here as well. And I think the furnace might be ideal. Ooh. Yeah, we'll do the furnace. Okay, we'll, we'll dig that out and we'll do the furnace on there. Build, tortures, furnace. It's got to be better. It's got to be better than the Bath of Kings. It's got to be better than that, you know? All right, so we'll put that there. And then, so three per day. Increases sinner's thirst, increases sinner's fatigue. See, I don't want them to get thirsty, though. What happens if we build tortures? I want to build that. I want to see what the difference is between this. Three per cycle and eight is a cycle. Versus two per cycle, eight is a cycle. Thirst and fatigue. Okay, so it's the same thing. So if we're going to do it, we might as well uh, use the better one. I don't want that anymore. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then this is a fire type. So let's go ahead and let's see who is a good fire candidate. Do we have any 150% fire people? Uh, Not really. So, Nero increases value of fire. Nero's aura increases the value of the fire trait to 100%. Full of hope, nothing is terrible for Zinner. Plus 30% of suffering, tortures, but okay. So, let's grab... Let's grab Nero, and we'll put you in there and then let's go ahead and build ourselves another decoration so go right there so like look at that that's seven plus seven suffering traits bonus three modifiers two heck yeah we're getting all of this stuff from this and then let's see what else do we have we have blood, we have blood. Do we have any other blood? See, we have another 150% blood. So we're gonna throw in another Iron Maiden right here and throw the other blood guy right there. Just because like 100%, 150% blood, like, come on. That's that's a good, that's a good modifier. Who do I have right here? Okay, I have you now. All right, so you are Gregory, right? Perfect. So look at that, 14 suffering, seven suffering. Holy moly. We are rocking and rolling with the suffering. Okay, so now, um, small spaces. Gregory, what's the blood? Uh, Abel, Adrian, and Emily, those three are workers, so we can't really mess with those. Eve is blood. Small spaces. Man, we have two of them, 150% for small spaces. But we don't have a small spaces. Torturing. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> So one blood, you two blood, uh, Eve, I guess we'll do blood torturing as well because that increases the bathroom rate and you know, increasing bathroom rate is always a good thing because that means we can secure our water situation. Ooh, our food is dropping quick. We need to get another person cooking food. Okay. So actually before we do anything else. We need to get another person grilling. So let's see who's going to be doing that. We need uh, you build. 
another one of those but we need somebody to be cooking skill bonus is the cooker okay so hopefully somebody that's not being tortured is a good cook <laughs> uh gregory's a good cook he's being tortured right now matthew matthew's a good cook matthew's a good cook he's not being tortured okay matthew you are gonna be another cook Ta -da! okay so that will help our meal because we were at like 300 before two something so yeah, we're gonna get you to do that. And then we need everybody else to be uh, getting tortured and using the restroom. <laughs> so it looks like Eve. Eve, you are our, the go-to. Build tortures. This is the only one I think is blood. I don't think any other one's blood. Except dentist might be, but I don't think freezer is. So we're gonna throw uh, build tortures you. We're gonna throw that right there. Looks good. And then actually I want to do the same thing. I want to dig this out. Right there. Dig that out. And then I'm going to put more of these skulls under here. Actually, no, 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 no. I don't need to go that far down, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. We're going to put another layer of skulls right here so we can hit these even harder. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. Decorations. I wonder if we should just stack a whole bunch of these right here on top of these, too. Maybe. Alright, so Eve. Where are you, Eve? Uh, we're gonna wait for them to get finished building, actually. Alright, so there's all those. And let's go back to build. Decorations. Yes. Oh, I'm out of stuff. What do we need for this? What do we need for these decorations? I'm out of coal. Okay, so we need cold metal. But we're out. Of, yeah, we need. We definitely need coal. Um, good spot for coal. Well, I guess a good spot for coal would probably be these ones right here. So let's just take the. Oh shoot. Uh, oh, fine. All right, so uh, let's see. How's our coal? Coal looks good now. Build. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, I don't know if that's going to increase anything, but we're going to find out. Then we need to get Eve back up here. Or we need to get Eve up here to start with. Then we also need to get, actually, build. Do we, are we going to have any more suffering? No, I think we already have four. I think that's good. Uh, decorations. More of these. Do those in there like that and I think we're pretty good everybody's like super in the dark um everybody's covered in skulls and bones everywhere are you Eve oh you are well enjoy your uh, torture <laughs> all right there we go we got the suffering perfect and look at you don't have to listen to him can't even hear him over here. You he can't hear nothing. Uh, all right. How's food? Water, looking good. Dirt, we're at 203. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build this. And we need to start, we need more dirt. So I'm gonna say, let's do this. And we're gonna start digging these out. I'm actually just going to queue up that entire row right there. So if anybody's busy, if anybody's not doing something, they can just start digging that and then we'll get dirt for our, uh, our food farms. Yeah. Look at how much meat and mushrooms we have. It's crazy. We have so much meat and mushrooms. Like we can be using these grills for a while. You know, actually upgrade. I wonder what upgrading this will do. We might have to try this. Wait, can you upgrade the latrine? Oh my gosh, you can. Dirt, coal, suffering. Oh, we need to upgrade some stuff. Well, look at that. Oh. Even with someone as useless as you managing the project, 
We finally finished that monument to Beelzebub. Beelzebub. <laughs> like evil, you had my help. So, Frank, this was your doing? Is that what you're saying? Oh, that's exactly what I'm saying, Your Holy Highness. Modest as I am, I can't deny I was the mastermind behind this entire operation. Well done! Oh, don't tell me I'm done. No! We're done! 69 buildings. Of course, 69 buildings. That's hilarious. Seven campaigns, advanced sandbox, 10 legends. I knew there's gonna be legends! Devil's mechanics, seven maps. Advanced resources, 50 max number of sinners, uh, a research system, limbo mechanic. Limbo mechanic. Oh, that's kind of like the game limbo. Okay. Crystals system, others rest. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, oh, can I keep playing this one? Was oh, it actually going to let me continue playing this part of the game? Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that'd be amazing. All right, so we finished uh, our only thing that we can really do in this. But we do have uh, our beautiful torture area over here. I'd like to see some walls and stuff like that too, you know, so we can put like walls and doors and stuff. Um, but that would be, that'd be super cool. But I want to get some upgrades going. How's our, okay, so we do have some upgrades going. Let's go ahead and let's start with, let's upgrade this. And I want to see what this is going to do. Okay, so this gives us 15 excrements, upgrade. 25, oh my gosh. Okay, and then water sanitizer. Uh, we can't do that. Upgrade that. Oh, we can upgrade this. Upgrade. Um. So, 10 to 15. Upgrade again. Oh, I can't upgrade it again yet. So, once we have 10 coal, we'll be able to upgrade it again. Oh, those outhouses are going to be nice, too. You know what? Are these people sleeping in here? Oh, we probably should get some more regular beds in here. Um, yeah, let's actually let's actually do that. Let's actually get some actual beds in here. Oh, we don't have coal for it. Okay, we need more coal. Jeez Louise, are you guys getting coal? Um, not really. <laughs> let's see. Let's queue up that. These. Uh, but yeah, this getting the 25 excrement, that's a huge deal. That's a huge upgrade because that's going to give us so much more water. It looks like there would be, would be an upgrade for this, but I'm not positive. Uh, I'd like to see the upgrade on this, though. I really would. Did it change the cycle amount? Hmm. So also, uh, with this many people, we definitely need another food stand because this person's like starving to death. <laughs> <laughs> There's a food stand right there. Um, so let's go ahead and let's build a food stand. Food. Hopefully we have the stuff to build a food truck. No, we don't because I don't have the coal for it. Good gosh. Um, okay, we're going to have to hit this coal like hard. Let's cancel all of this. And let's just get that coal dug out. Uh, this patch right there would be super nice. Is there anything else like close by any of the holes that already have dug? I, mean, I guess right here is not too bad. That's not too far away. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's dig in there and then we'll dig all of this out. And then all I have to do is build basic floor. Build those there and we should be good. Okay, so we gotta grab those too. We also need another drinking fountain too because look at people are getting thirsty. So we need to get a couple drinking fountains. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a little area right here. We're gonna have another food food truck and like two or three drinking fountains right here too, to kind of help disperse people so they can they can all get in there and get the food as they need to. Uh, I'm super curious about these upgrades though, like the excrement. This was a huge upgrade. I should have did this a long, long time ago, because going up from ten to twenty five, that's a huge deal because that gives us more uh, water capacity and then more water. Yeah, that was that was a big deal. I should have done that a long time ago. All right, how's the coal going? Are we getting coal yet? Wait, where are you mining coal from? Oh, you're mining it from down here. Okay. So, you know what? I don't really need people to be being tortured right now. I kind of need people... Uh, I kind of need people 
digging and getting coal and stuff like that. Because, I mean, guess what? We don't really need that much for uh, suffering anyways. We don't really have anything else we're working towards. So, eh, you know what? I bet you the field kitchen upgrade is going to be a good upgrade too. I bet you it cooks more with less. Or it cooks more out of the same amount too. Oh, it's kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I'm waiting for more coal. We have 25 coal. We can go ahead and get another... We can go ahead and get another food shack. And I probably should. Yeah, let's do that. Food, food truck. We're going to put a food truck there. And then build drink. We need one of these, but I need 10 more coal for that, so... We'll at least get that there so that way people can at least have a second place to eat and then we'll at least get i don't know one or two more of these drinking stations all right so there's another drinking station right there perfect so that should work because i've only ever seen twice i've only ever seen a couple times that people are like you know waiting to eat food so we have plenty of places for people to eat food and now we have two separate stations for water so that'll be good we need to build more beds uh, and I want to get more upgrades. Oh, I want to get more upgrades. I really want to upgrade this too. So let's actually, uh, we'll, we'll try to upgrade this bad boy once we get the coal for it. But this requires five, five meat, five mushrooms to, for 10 simple meals. And we'll see what we can upgrade that to. All right. So upgrade time, five, five, and 10. If we upgrade you six, six. And 15, yes, it is doing more with less. Okay, and then we can do it again. Seven, seven, and 25, heck yes. Okay, so that right there is amazing. That right there is amazing. Seven, seven, and 25 versus five, five, and 10. So we use four more resources and gain 15 more food. Heck yes, who wouldn't do that? You know, I actually don't even feel like we need I don't feel like we actually even need another one of these now. Like, I feel like one of those is probably good enough. Because we were doing, what, two of them before? That was 10 and 10. Um, yeah, that was 20 That was twenty simple meals. So, like, we don't even need this one anymore. So, let's go and deconstruct that. Now, if you were playing, if we had more people... Now, we only have 10 centers. So, we only have to account for 10. Uh, a max number. So, that's going to... Hey, that'll handle 10, no problemo. Well, okay, it's 38. and Yeah, and it's 38 because we get the traits bonus on it, too. Good gosh. Wait, you guys have nothing to do? Seriously? You have nothing to do? Wow, they have nothing to do. Um, okay, so this is what we could do. We could either dig down and collect some of this stuff. Uh, what are the other upgrades here? Do we have a drinking fountain upgrade? No. Do we have this one? Oh, yeah, we do have this one too. So 10 and 15 upgrade. 10 and 25. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Yes, 10 to 25. Perfect. Oh, and then beds? Um, Let's see. What does this do? I don't even know what it does. But should we upgrade it? Upgrade bed? Oh, it looks so nice. Got a little skull and crossbones on it now. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So those are looking good. Oh, we also need to upgrade the farm too. So three to five. Four to ten. And now we have no suffering. Okay. We got to get people suffering again. Oh, see the upgrades. I need to pay attention to the upgrades. The upgrades are like making a huge difference here. Like a tremendous difference. But that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. This has been Hello Architect. Uh, we are probably done with the game until the game actually comes out, which I'm super excited about. I don't know when it's coming out. This is, like I said, a prologue. Um, I want to say, oh gosh, I can't remember what it said that was coming out. But it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. I have a link down below. Check it out. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next one.